Drogon flies with his mother's army to Winterfell. He and Rhaegal pass over the winter town and the castle, shocking and amazing the northerners. Drogon is affected by the north's extreme cold and is not eating as much as he normally would. Daenerys takes him for a flight, possibly as a way to give him exercise and shake off the cold. While Drogon carries Daenerys, his brother Rhaegal carries Jon Snow. When they stop at a waterfall, Drogon glares at Jon, showing his discontent with Jon's affections towards his mother. Drogon fights in the Battle of Winterfell. Together with Jon Snow and Rhaegal, he burns countless whites before engaging the Night King on top of Viserion. The three brothers fight ferociously before Drogon, on Daenerys' command, rams Viserion, knocking the Night King several feet to the ground. As Jon runs towards Winterfell, Daenerys gets distracted by her feelings for Jon's safety and fails to notice the whites swarming Drogon. They frantically start stabbing the dragon, with him roaring in pain and rage. In a panic, he knocks Daenerys off his back and takes to the air, trying to shake off the attackers from his back, leaving Daenerys and Ser Jorah alone with the Horde of the Dead. After the battle, Drogon returns to where he left Daenerys. Wounded and exhausted, he comforts his mother as she mourned the death of Ser Jorah. Drogon and Rhaegal soar in the skies above Winterfell, though the latter struggles slightly due to his wing being injured from his fight with Viserion. The Targaryen forces then sail back to Dragonstone, with Daenerys and her dragons flying overhead. Euron Greyjoy's Iron Fleet ambushes them and shoots Rhaegal first with massive scorpions mounted on the ships, fatally hitting him multiple times and causing the dragon to smash into the Blackwater Bay and sink. With the death of Rhaegal, Drogon is now the last living dragon in the world. Enraged by the death of Rhaegal, Daenerys tries to avenge him by having Drogon burn Euron's fleet but they are forced to retreat after narrowly avoiding being hit by another volley. With the Targaryen fleet denied the support of the dragons, Euron turns his scorpions towards them and sinks the fleet. Drogon is later present when Daenerys and her forces arrive at the gates of King's Landing to bargain for Missandei, but keeps his distance due to the scorpions along the city wall. After returning to Dragonstone, Drogon burns Varys on his mother's orders for treason. During the Battle of King's Landing, he uses his tremendous speed and the blinding sunlight to his full advantage, utterly annihilating the Iron Fleet with his dragonfire. He then destroys the city gates to let her army into the city. After destroying the scorpions on the city walls, Daenerys uses him to burn most of the city even after it surrenders, massacring most of its civilians, surrendered Lannister forces, and the Red Keep, killing and displacing Queen Cersei Lannister in the process. After the battle is over, Drogon lands on the remains of the Red Keep, and observes his mother's vow to further, liberate, the entire world via the same means used on King's Landing. Later, he's seen resting next to the ruins of the Red Keep, and is roused when Jon approaches him, though the dragon allows Jon to pass. After an anguish Jon assassinates Daenerys to save the people of Westeros, Drogon senses his mother in peril and flies up to the throne room to find Jon holding a lifeless Daenerys in his arms while weeping. Drogon approaches his mother, nudging her in vain a couple of times to no avail. Once he realizes she is dead, Drogon roars in grief. Enraged, he faces Jon, who prepares for death via Drogon's flames, but Drogon instead turns to the Iron Throne, the symbol and origin of the Dragon Queen's obsession. As Beleriand's fire forged the Iron Throne, Drogon's fire melts it away into nothing bringing a permanent end to the struggles for it that have plagued Westeros for 300 years, and in a way, fulfilling his mother's goal to break the wheel. With nothing left for him in Westeros, Drogon then gently picks Daenerys up in his talons and flies away across the narrow sea. Weeks later at a small council meeting, Bran Stark, the newly elected king of Westeros, inquires the whereabouts of Drogon, to which Samuel Tarly answers that he was last seen headed east toward Volantis. Bronn interrupts and quips, the further away the better. Bran proposes that he look for the dragon himself. 